everyone and welcome back to part 41 of Bill's Hatemus Victory. Okay, so if you joined me in the last video, obviously you'd realise obviously our pretty much everything's all finished and all ready for paint. So in this video, I'm obviously what I'm going to do. Obviously, we'll start off. With, obviously, I'm going to start masking up the areas that obviously <coughs> that I don't want to want to get any kind of spray on or any overspray. I was going to mask up uh, the gun ports where needed, and obviously I'm going to mask up some more of these uh, the windows in the stern. I've just been and bought some uh, some primer. Like I said, it's bought it from our local Will Coles. It's just a, uh, like a chain in the UK that sells uh, pretty much a bit of everything, really. And obviously, I've read some reviews on this primer, and for the price, it said it looks obviously it looks like it's going to work out okay. But I tried to test build, and it absolutely stunk my room out. So obviously, I built a little spray proof outside. So obviously, when we get to stage, obviously adding the primer, I'm just going to take it outside and spray it. So anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so it's time to start masking up these windows. And I'm obviously going to mask them in two halves, just for the little bit easier. There is some obviously wider masking tape. I just find it a little bit easy just doing two parts. So I've <coughs> just got a little stick and I'm just slightly tape it at the end so I can use it as like a bit of a I can just like push the masking tape into all the areas that I need. Just fold that one over for now. Just push it into all the grooves. Just want to use an absolutely brand new, straight out of the packet blade for this section for masking. You don't want to be using a blunt blade. Second piece. So you just use the the point of the stick again, just obviously just to feed it into all the areas. Just curl him over there for now. And same again, just taking your sharp scalpel. tapes all pressed down. And see what I do what I tend to do with this top section is obviously once I've gone along filled in all the windows I'll turn it over and, and cut it from the bottom. It's a lot easier than trying to cut it obviously where you can't really see. So okay so I'll carry on filling these in and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've just filled in all the, the windows. Obviously, now it's time to just turn Victor over and trim off the excess. Okay, so we we'll just turn Victor over, and all I'm going to do now is just make sure that obviously all the masking tape is pushed in this bottom window frame. Just make sure it's pushing every corner. And obviously, I'm just going to take my nice sharp knife. So that's all the uh, gallery windows finished and masked up. So now it's time to move on and start to have a look how we can uh, address these uh, gun ports so we don't get any spray on them. So as we're looking at Big Tree, you can see there's pretty much only actually five gun ports we have to worry about. And obviously that's the top five there. And there's also just the entrance door. That's the only thing that's really 
we don't want any, any uh, spray going in because obviously all the rest of these ports they're all just uh, dummy gun ports and they only go back about 10 mil and then they finish so all i'm going to do is obviously for these five is obviously i'm just going to cut some sponge and i'm just going to feed some sponge into the holes Okay, so that's covered that hole. So when you go over the airbrush, obviously that's just going to obviously fill, fill this, paint the surface, but not going to in, into the, the interior. Okay, so I'll carry on, just filling in these gun ports. In too much, you can just get your tweezers. Pull it a bit flushier. Not too bad about it. Obviously, the tip of the uh, the gun hanging out. That's not so bad. I can just so similar get get marked and obviously scratch in the case. For obviously, where the ship gets skin turned on its side. So all I do after is obviously I just want to twist that back up with a bit of black paint. Okay, so carry on and some more. So that's all the uh, the top five gun ports just filled with some sponge, and obviously that's the uh, the, the entrance filled as well. So, so that's okay. I mean, if you wanted to, you could take the time and fill up every single every single gun port. But obviously, all the time, obviously, like I say, we obviously with the construction's happened since we painted these black. Obviously, it's starting to look a bit dusty and a bit grey and a bit of everything else. So, obviously, they could do be repainted in any case. So, obviously, so I've got to go I'm going over a grey primer, and obviously, then I'll see I'll, I'll paint it into the yellow, the yellow ochre. Then I'll mask up, and obviously, I'll paint it all black. So, obviously, so when I go around to obviously then re, uh, repainting these dummy cannon holes, all I'll do is I'll just get a little template. And I'll just obviously where obviously where this has been painted the yellow ochre. All I do is I use a template and I can just obviously spray or just use my brush, put the brush directly in that, and obviously just add a little bit more black. So that says I have to fill up 100, uh, 105 gun ports. Okay, so just gonna move on. Okay, so I've just filled up the uh, the dummy gun ports, and I'm seeing the, the the gun ports from the weather day. I don't want to get any. Uh, over spraying so obviously there's just a couple of uh, things left to be masked up and obviously I just want to mask up all the uh, all the deck the top deck and obviously and I also want to mask up obviously from some of the bow section as well obviously because obviously there's still lots more added to the section of the bow so obviously I don't want to clog it all up with paint so that's what I'm going to do now okay so I'm going to mask up this deck so obviously what I'm going to do first obviously I've just got some uh, some like well, made made some templates Obviously, I'm just going to cut them to length. So, obviously, what I'm going to do, and obviously, I can just say if you have to mask the whole thing up, obviously, you use a poorly masking tape, you can obviously just apply this after. So, I'm just going to get some uh, the masking tape, pretty much the same as what I did around the windows, just run it along the edges, and obviously, just use this curved side, just this pointed stick, and then you can just work the masking tape into all the grooves. So slide a piece of masking tape in, it's a bit awkward this angle. And obviously just take your, your stick that's been rounded off, sorry round off, just been like made like a bit of a, a wedge. And you can just press the uh, the masking tape into the decking and obviously if it needs to go under any slight holes it will do. Just repeat that process. Thank you. 
because you know when you put your template over the top you can just mask that to it and not be that covered so as we've now we're sticking out this template we're pretty much repeating the same process but we don't have to be quite as accurate we don't have to be all the way up to the uh, the bolt works it's just so this stops this from flapping about Okay, I'll just repeat this process over the whole deck and we'll come back. Okay, so as you can clearly see now, we'll see that's the entire deck all masked off. I wasn't going to show you too much, but I actually thought to myself, uh, there's probably people out there that obviously that maybe never done any masking, so I thought, you know, I'll add a few things in, obviously. Hopefully, people find it useful. So, it's pretty much all the decks all masked off now. So, we've filled in the gun ports, mostly with some sponge. Obviously, all the, uh, the windows are masked off, so it's pretty much time to take it outside and uh, add the primer coat. 